Hey everyone, and welcome to day 23 of my horror movie review marathon, and I've got the Blob 1988 movie review. A blob from outer space reaches Earth and then tries to consume everything it can find. Will anyone make it out alive? So as far as the story goes, this is a remake of the 1958 film of the same name, and there are times when it reminded me of several films that I had seen in the past or just recently, like Killer Clowns from Outer Space with the whole meteor crashing down and someone finding it. It reminded me of I Know What You Did Last Summer when there was the scene with the teenagers in this movie who were considering doing the wrong thing by almost leaving a man to die, but then you get to see like what actually happens. It reminded me of the thing just on the basis of special effects alone. But on this film's own merits, it shows how a group of teenagers start the night out thinking they will have a good time when it all goes downhill. And that blob can really move places. As far as the casting goes, you've got Kevin Dillon who is in the lead. Now I know for you Entourage fans you know who this guy is and in this movie he kind of plays that sort of same character where he's not exactly a troublemaker but he's not exactly on everybody's good side but I think he does have a good side in this movie. You know he's got a heroic streak in this and you know I would definitely like to have a guy like him around uh, especially in this blob situation. And you've also got Shawnee Smith who if you uh, you might recognize her from Saw, uh, the Saw movies, but she also has a role in this film, which is completely opposite of the character that she played in Saw, and she kind of feels more of like a damsel in distress type of character, but she does have a tough side to her as well. Now, the only things that I could probably say annoyed me were the cops, because when they don't believe the kids, but then they eventually find out exactly, you know, what has been going on. It reminds me of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And the government guys can't be trusted either. I mean, come on. Uh, I've seen Stranger Things. I know how that all goes. So the things that I liked about this movie was that right off the bat, I noticed how creepy and cringeworthy it is. But cringeworthy in a good way because of just everything that is going on and I can't exactly pinpoint if it's just for shock value when certain scenes pop up so uh, I swear I had to cover my mouth quite a few times from the scenes that made me jump and those blob special effects really were effective throughout the movie so I really loved what that blob could do with all these people it's just uh, it was crazy to watch and there are times when I actually did laugh or at least facepalm at one point. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that it is a little bit slow moving. Uh, at the parts when it is slow moving, it's just kind of boring to watch, especially some parts near the end of the movie. So it sporadically uh, has like thrilling things going, and then all of a sudden it just like dies down. And it does feel a little bit dated, so I can't say that this movie has stood the test of time, even though I'm sure that the 1958 film is fine to watch. So that's definitely going to be a movie I want to see next. So overall, I would say that The Blob was, you know, a pretty decent film. I feel like it could have been better at times, but overall I, I enjoyed myself watching it. So. I would recommend seeing this movie to anybody who hasn't, or if you have seen the original and want to see the remake. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Blob 1988, and come back tomorrow for day 24 of my horror movie review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.